This is just a quick sale preview video for our 20th of October antique sale and jewellery. We'll start off here um, with a couple of the nicest bits of jewellery that I've just picked out. Um, a really good selection again as ever this time. Uh, so we'll start from the front and go all the way to the back. So a, a really nice South African Johannesburg gold digging shovel brooch. So this is obviously given as a bit of a sweetheart brooch to the person's mother to say that they found a nice gold nugget in Johannesburg while they've been mining. Um, just a really sweet thing. That's probably about 100 to 150. Beautiful pair of diamond and emerald drop earrings here. Uh, this cut of emerald is called a briolette. Uh, very rare to see them with emeralds uh, because they're so brittle, but they're such beautiful colors. The depth of that green is so vibrant and the diamonds are really top quality as well. There's hardly any inclusions at all under a loop and they're very bright. And the best part about these is that once you take the um, the backings off, the butterflies, because these, these are stud earrings. So once you take the butterflies off, you can actually remove the emeralds as well. So they become solitaire diamond studs. Really nice pair that. That's the first lot in the jewelry section, lot 450. And they are going to be around a thousand pounds, perhaps more on the day, but I can see those really taking off because I think they're a beautiful pair, very rare. Um, beautiful black opal, if, if that's your sort of thing. This is, um, similar to what they call a jelly opal. Um, but again, really nice strong colors in that and a nice modern halo setting with diamonds and that's in white gold. Um, some other huge diamond rings at the back here. The main one being this central one, which I think is lots, let me just have a look, four, five, seven. That is a three stone diamond ring. And I believe um, that that is around two carats um, in total between the three there. Slight yellow tint to that middle stone, but really good top quality. And it's an old cut as well. So it's even harder to get that um, looking perfect, but a really nice ring either way, a beautiful stone. And that's, that one should be around four or 5,000 pounds at auction. Um, a nice Edwardian looking one here with rose gold shoulders. And that's got rose cut diamonds. Again, just a nice novelty piece. Um, I suppose, <laughs> and that should be two or three hundred pounds. Um, the next over here, some really flashy diamonds. Uh, this is another old cut diamond piece with a cushion cut diamond in the center. So it's three main stones and then a few other um, sort of accent stones as well. But that's Victorian and really bright ones. That should be around well, two, two or 3,000. Really nice and unusual to see such well-cut stones for Victorian period. A nice long chain here, lot 477. This is designer by Fope, or Fope, probably. Um, this is 18 karat gold, and this design is called a Maori design. That's just what they called it, with uh, this tassel base and uh, diamond bands. Uh, this designer generally makes around two or 3,000 at auction, so that should be around there. Um, another very unusual, perhaps Georgian, this one. Um, if not, then just a touch later with pear and rose cut diamonds with lovely lilac enamel banding all the way around. Very unusual, that one. And these at the top, pair of diamond cluster studs. These were found in a jewelry box full of Swarovski costume jewelry earrings. And it was a uh, spot the difference <laughs> sort of deal where um, all of the rest were costume jewelry and these stood out like a sore thumb. They were just gleaming at me um, when I opened the jewelry box and they're really pretty. They should be something like five to 800, perhaps even more on the day. Um, and then we'll quickly move on to these just before we get show you a few more antiques. Uh, a nice, but very um, <laughs> useless, I suppose, <laughs> nowadays, nine karat gold cigarette case. Most, mostly for the gold weight nowadays, although this one is practically perfect. So if you collect that sort of thing, this one's for you. That's lot 462. Beautiful Fabergé. Um, actually, this is attributed to, um, we know the workmaster of this one. So this is Russian. 
um, with red enamel and rose cut diamonds, a stick pin. Um, and the workmaster did uh, do work for Fabergé, but there aren't any Fabergé marks. So it, it might, it's attributed to him um, and certainly could be by him. And the last one I'll show you here at the front. Look at that. Fantastic gold, pearl and enamel pendant. Beautiful thing there, very stylish. And that should be around three or 400. And now I'll just quickly show you some more antiques from the main sale. Um, starting off with this tankard at the front of the cabinet here, which is lot number one, the first lot in the sale. And it looks really scruffy. It might, be, might even be better under a light actually. <laughs> or it might show the dirt more. <laughs> uh, I know it looks like a bit of a nothing, but to the right collectors, this is um, something really rare. So it's called a peg tankard. It's made out of birch and it's Norwegian. Um, similar to, to their folk art, really. Um, and it is in slightly poor condition. It's got a bit of woodworm all over. It's seen its good life, but it's a very rare piece. Um, I think the estimate for this is only 150 to 250, but there are perfectly good examples out there that have made several thousand at auction. So expecting interesting things for that come sale day. Another really nice piece here, lot number three, another Norwegian piece. This one is silver plated um, and it's on a lovely carved stand as well. And that's a Viking ship. And that may be a nice fruit bowl, probably lends itself to a banana. <laughs> and we'll keep going around here. We've also got a mid-century sale um, on the same week that's already online as well. And that includes everything in this cabinet here and much, much more. Some really nice Argenta on the left here. This is always a very good seller. Argenta ware and a lovely urn at the back there as well and some more, um, we've had a few of these recently, some Wilshire wooden sculptures and all sorts of really other decorative, interesting pieces. It's well worth a look online, that one. You may have already seen the, uh, the wooden telephone uh, from our posts online. And I think you might, if you're interested in that, you might have a bit of co uh, competition from virtually the entire world. <laughs> had some really good feedback about that one. Um, some more Georgian silver in this sale, all from one vendor. There's a nice run of it um, in this particular sale and it's all really good quality Georgian silver, which includes this pair of uh, four, or not pair, set of four silver salts. They're quite lovely. Nice pair of double magnum silver mounted uh, wine coasters. And again, that's the same owner, um, the three piece tea set. All very good quality Georgian silver. This at the back here is Cartier. This is a nice bucket. How regal. <laughs> In solid silver as well. Look at that. Estimate on this is 800 to 1000. That's the name that makes that one. And we'll whiz past a few other pieces here, some more Georgian silver that you can see in there, some lovely oil paintings as well. Look at that scene, some beautiful ones here. A very unusual drum cased clock. And this one actually is supposed to be a drum <laughs> as well. That's quite nice, that's Victorian. And that should be between 150 and 250. Um, some really nice, a really nice set of Lalique glasses over here, just before we do move up to the top of the room. All matching, they're in individual groups here. So we've got sets of six, uh, some sets of 12 of the smaller glasses. We've got a few decanters, um, more sets of six here, all exactly the same pattern. That pair of jugs there as well. And I think each of these are between one and 200 for each lot. But if you want the entire set, then now's your chance. <laughs> Lovely glassware. And then we'll continue up here. 
run <laughs> to this gigantic piece. This is lot 116 and it is Iranian and this is called um, a Safavid bowl. So it's really heavy, good quality bronze with inlay and it's the decoration on this one. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but it's so intricate and there's so much Arabic text and floral decoration all the way around. There's not a single untouched part of this. It's so intricate and it's exceptionally heavy as well. Really rare piece. There's, there have been several of these coming up at auction um, you know, over, over the years. Some of them make tens of thousands of pounds. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if this is you know, gonna be really good news. It's, it looks a bit old and you know, it's got wear, but that's exactly what you should be looking for. This could be 16th or 17th century. Um, it's just a really good quality bowl. Um, so that will be one to watch in the sale, lot 116, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Again, uh, we've got the Antiques Road Trip joining us this time with their few um, entries as well. This is probably one of the nicest pieces, bar, bar a lamp down at the bottom of the room there. Chinese silk embroidered shawl. That's quite sweet as well. Can't say much about the rest of it, but <laughs> we'll stop there, I think. Um, and then just some more furniture to show you as well. Um, so we've got a Maple & Co buffet. Very good quality deco silver plated cutlery, the canteen, and that's in its original oak case. Uh, another salon, this is sold. Salon seti there, that's lot 298. Gilt wood frame. And if gilt wood is, is your sort of thing, then behind it as well, um, well, we'll have a look around the other side, is another um, mantle there. That's the, with a marble, shaped marble top. It's a lovely piece again. Some really heavy bits of furniture this time. We certainly felt it while we were photographing it. Just move these out of the way. This, this is a lovely, small size, heavy oak cupboard. And it's got a really lovely chip carved um, surround, which um, is actually dated as well. So this one is 1696. And um, some text there as well, which is in French. But it's very sturdy, but it's really good quality as well. And I'll just quickly show you that um, marble mantle as well. Nice, good quality, heavy cork cupboard that we go past. Not the most fashionable of things anymore, but this one is a bit more elaborate than, the, than most. It's got a full front as well. If I can get it to work. Come on. No, yes. No, I think I locked it. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's it. I think we'll probably leave that. It's a surprise. You have to come in and look. <laughs> that was the technique. <laughs> and, and there's, um, <laughs> there it is, with the shaped marble top on that one. And a really nice piano stool just in front of it there as well. Rise and fuel, fall on walnut. Definitely have a look at the catalogue for the mid-century sale. Some really good quality pieces in that one. Um, it's just really decorative and really interesting. Things you'd actually want to, to put on your mantelpiece or a shelf in your, in your house. Otherwise, have a look through the catalogue. It's a really good sale still. So um, we've got our antique sale on Monday. No, not Monday, on Wednesday. And that starts at 9.30. Yep, 9.30, you've been given the nod. Um, and then following that is the jewellery, watches and silver. And then on Thursday, we have the fine art sale. Obviously, we're still hanging that at the moment, which is why I haven't shown you any. Uh, so Thursday, we're starting off on the... 9.30. Mid-century oh, first, mid isn't it? Yeah. Yep, so Thursday, I obviously know what I'm talking about here. Uh, Thursday is the mid-century sale uh, at 9.30, and then after that is the fine art. So viewing on Monday and Tuesday as well. Please do come and have a look. Otherwise, if you can't, look online and happy bidding. Thank you very much. <laughs>